Welcome to She Codes episode number 7. We are going to have a wonderful conversation today with Ms. Janeta. She's a certified front-end developer and a solutions specialist. She's a certified scrum master too, also a technical manager. She loves traveling, motorbikes, kickboxing, skydiving are are her hobbies, and she really likes to meditate. Well, don't ask me where she's from. She's truly a global person. She has lived in various places. However, her her first home happens to be in Poland, and uh, her second, uh, that is her husband's place, is is Philippines. So, uh, yeah, she she truly is global. Uh, so please welcome Miss Janeta. So, uh, welcome Janeta uh, in She Codes uh, episode number seven. It's a it's truly a pleasure to have you. So uh tell us about yourself uh, your family your uh, outstanding professional journey uh, so far Hi everyone uh thank you Swati for inviting me for this interview I'm actually so excited to be here My name is Janeta Baran uh, I have been born and raised in Poland um, but to be honest since like 10 years uh, I have been traveling around the world so um I have been living in such a country such as um, Spain, uh, UK, US, uh, Vietnam and the Philippines. I will tell you a little bit more about the Philippines later on. Um as you can see like I'm really travel lover. I love this. Um I'm also into the optimal lifestyle topic. Uh, a little bit more about this one. Um I'm into maximizing my per- performance. So basically I'm really interested in the in the topic how to actually manage your stress improve your sleep um how to be more healthy how to improve your body but also how to be more effective and more productive so i'm super interested in this this topic this is really big my uh, my hobby i'm also adrenaline freak so i love skydiving i love motorbikes and this actually really helped me in my IT career this um i remember my professor in the U, uh, uni uh, told me that this I need to point this adrenaline this and uh, part of me who is more men part which I don't agree that this is men part but um it was inter- a really interesting approach in IT that I should more show it that I love skydiving that I love motorbikes but anyway um and also um I'm I'm blogger So I have my blog jenetaparan.com where I'm actually um writing about women in IT. This is like the big topic for me. I would love to really help women uh, to work in IT. So this is one of my uh one of my blog ser- uh, blog post series. Um I also write about my 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 traveling. So if you want to know more a bit about my living in the Philippines, you can also check out uh, my blog. And finally, um I have been working in IT since let's say 10 years. Um and let me tell you more about that one because it's actually a really interesting story. Um everything started when I was looking for my job, what what I would like to do in my life, um uh, before choosing my high school and before choosing my university. And that time I actually was thinking what I can do to actually what I can do in my life which is going to give me um challenges which is going to give me changes where I can be independent where I can work everywhere on the world what's going to give me good money and <laughs> when I was like that was like when I was 18 or 19 and that time I also was thinking what job I can do and I'm going to have a baby and I will have to be at home <laughs> and after all my research and so on it's come up well i like math but i don't want to be a math teacher what i can do i can do actually uh, i can be in it i can uh, do this kind of job uh, and i chose my high school i chose my university and when i have been studying in my university i was only one girl in my group um one of my professor asked me if i don't uh, if i don't want to do internship for some polish agency in it of course um that was when i was like in my first year of the university um, of course i say yes and i started working for this polish agency uh and it was challenging it was challenging because like <sighs> guys like i didn't have 
any idea about IT technology. I just like know how to do basic HTML website on the table that time, you know, that was 10 years ago. And <laughs> I remember when sometimes the guys were laughing at me because again, I was working on the one woman in the whole office. Uh, guys were laughing at me like why like why I don't know some basic stuff and so on but at the same time I had a great boss so he was really believing in me and, and helping me and so on so that's really helped me and after this uh, I moved to Spain I have been working in Spain as a technical manager project manager for the solar company and after that one I actually came back to Poland I opened my own agency and this is actually a really funny story. I was pretty young that time. And I told that I want I want to have a big company uh, with the many people and so on. And I started creating this company. And at some point I realized that when I was in this, you know, this business world, I realized that those people, they are so stressed. I was so stressed all the time. Um, you work 24 hours, seven days a week. I was doing exactly the same and it was hard like I just realized like this kind of company is not my type of company I don't want to work like that one and and I decided okay I need something different um, and that's that's how I end up in London when I have been working for the Magento uh, Magento partner company agency so I have been working two years over there it was a great time like I actually really loving uh, loved working with, with those guys over there like I'm saying hi if you are uh, watching this video and and after this that time my office asked me if I would like to move to Vietnam to work uh, to actually uh, teach teach uh, our developers over there in the office over there our processes and so on and I move over there supposedly just for three months but um, uh, but that time uh, it was so funny because I went to the Philippines for a week I met my current partner and my company asked me like it was not related at all but my company asked me if I don't want, don't want to move to the Philippines to actually um, manage our office in the Philippines. So of course I say yes, because uh, my partner was already in the Philippines. So that's, uh, that's how I moved to the Philippines for two years. And now I'm currently back to in Poland because I wanted my partner, a uh, Filipino partner, to actually experience Poland, experience our culture and so on. We actually renovate our apartment here. Um, so yeah, that's that's my journey, a little bit long, I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, uh, what does I can tell you? Um, about my, actually, my profession, uh, one more thing, um, one, I think, uh, one more thing about my profession was that, um, because I really didn't tell you, I don't think I was started telling you about all this, my journey, but I didn't tell you, that I actually specialize in e-commerce in Magento. So um, I'm creating websites and stores online for my clients. And I'm also speci specializing in the Agile and Scrum, uh, Scrum methodology. So I'm also the trainer in Scrum and I'm a trainer in, in Magento and also actually working in Magento for the client implementing stuff. I changed the way how I manage my company. I still have my, my company, I still have this agency, but I don't want to have a lot of people I don't want to have a big company, big office and so on. Um, I'm actually working remotely uh, with a few really long-term clients um, with uh, my, the best web developer ever. And we both um, just do what we can do and we enjoy our work together. Um, and then this is how I manage my company. Who say that it has to be differently? Uh, who say that you need to have a lot of uh, employees and so on? I don't. I still have money. I still have all my company since years, years already. Um, so this is also possible. Um, regarding my technical skills, um, so I have, uh, I specialize in Magento. Uh, I specialize in uh, e-commerce and I help my clients to actually maximize the income from their store online uh, 
um, I'm actually um, helping them to improve their uh, SEO, their user experience, and so on. Um, I'm also work close with the developers. I'm, I'm developer by myself, but I also close work currently with the developers since I'm like technical manager uh, slash project manager at some of my previous jobs. Um, because before I was working as a web developer, so I have really technical background and I'm still coding. But basically, right now I'm working with the developers, I'm giving the trainings, Magento trainings, technical trainings, I'm also giving the uh, Scrum Master trainings, IJAT methodology training, so that's what I'm actually specialized in my professional work. <laughs> I forgot about tell you really important thing. Um, that on my blog post, I'm also writing tutorials for Magento 2. So if you are interested in the topic of like Magento 2, how to implement some stuff and so on, like typical developers uh, stuff, um, yeah, just uh, just visit my website. Is the series Magento 2? How how in Magento 2? Um, so yeah, if you are developer and you would like to know more technical stuff regarding to this um, the tool which is Magento, uh, the engine for e-commerce, uh, welcome. Okay, you spoke a lot about uh, the kind of uh, work that you've been working. Um, this is really inspiring uh, for women engineers. Uh, what are your future plans uh, considering the kind of work you've already done and uh, the kind of hobbies you're managing, uh, you know, the consulting work that you're offering uh, to various communities? Uh, what are your future plans? Uh, you know, we would love to hear that. Regarding my future plans, <laughs> it's a funny question because like years ago, I would guys tell you like, this is exactly what I'm gonna do in five years, this is exactly what I'm gonna do in 10 years, and this is exactly what I'm gonna do in next year. But since some time, after like 10 years of working and working and working, um, I realized that I have different priorities in my life. Currently, I'm really focusing on what is now, and what I actually, how I enjoy my life, how I'm actually improving my life, uh, how I can live happily. So I don't know what's gonna happen next year, to be honest. Like I'm actually really enjoying uh, my new home. I'm enjoying my partner. I'm enjoying my family in Poland. Um, the only things which I know for sure is that the next year I'm gonna have a wedding in the Philippines. Uh, so that's my future plans um, because the, that's kind of events you need to plan ahead. But <laughs> the rest of this, um, I will see. I will see where I'm gonna end up, if I'm gonna be still in e-commerce, um, if I'm gonna still blogging or maybe I'm gonna switch to, I don't know, fitness world and being more into the fitness. Who knows? My next question is about uh, your journey as a women engineer and uh, do you have any messages uh, for them? Tell you something. Uh, to all women out there who they are like engineer women working in IT or want to work in IT, um, girls, uh, remember to make mistakes. Make mistakes. You will not learn anything if you are not gonna make mistakes. So just just make mistakes. Um, also, um, don't be afraid if you don't know something. Um, like, don't worry. Just ask it. Just ask the questions. I don't know it. Like I want to learn, and and that that's it. You don't need to know everything. Uh, even like the really simple things, you don't need to know them. You just ask. And remember, your job doesn't define you. That's <laughs> that's something that I'm repeating to myself all the time. Uh, when I'm actually do something wrong at job, make some mistake. Um, this doesn't define me. My my job doesn't define me. My work doesn't define me. Um, I don't live for work. I work for living. And I'm just trying to enjoy it as much as possible. And do it. Just do it, you know? Like, you don't need to be worried about anything. Uh, you don't need to be like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm like, I'm not good enough. I'm not, know that, I don't know this technical details that much. I don't know. Yeah, I probably, I don't know. You probably know much more than me, but um, women, we are having a lot of different skills and women, they are so important in the teams. 
we balance the team. We have so much like the soft skills that they are super important in, in IT. Um, to be honest, when I interview right now some potential employees, this technical knowledge is like somewhere at the bottom of, of my list. Like for me, it's really important the communication. It's really important how the people work in the team. Like if I'm gonna get guy, guy, woman, what doesn't matter, who has like really strong technical knowledge, but cannot communicate, then I will not hire this person. Because it's you, technical knowledge you can learn. You can learn with the time. But your soft skills, your communication, um, how you work with the people, this is the most important thing. Because those kind of things are really difficult to change. Um, so don't worry. Don't worry, like you are great and you can do it. Just, just go. Like I don't even understand why the woman like why see this problem in IT, there's no woman IT. Like I don't like I don't understand that one. Like we are the same. Like any other people, like women, men, other genders. Just do it. Thank you, Janeta, for uh, coming to uh, She Codes, uh, talking about your experience, your message to women engineers out there. Uh, you've been managing work, your hobbies, uh, traveling, uh, you know, really well. So that's definitely inspiring for our women engineers for listening to this this particular video. And uh, I I wish you all the luck and all the best from the perfect team. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Uh, if you also want to be featured in She Codes, uh, please write to me at uh, swati at perfect.com. Uh, you can see that in the end of this video. And uh, I would love to interview you uh, if you qualify to be in She Codes. Thank you so much.